Welcome to another tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to fix HP battery, what is inside HP battery, and how to use your multimeter to read HP battery or to troubleshoot your laptop battery. I have um, different battery cell here. I have um, the LG VD E531 battery here. and I also have the this one is this one is 2316LH battery I also have um, INR INR 18650 This one is larger than 1800 mh and I also have this one 4500 mh and 3 point something watts the battery is one um, INR battery you will have issue when charging the battery or the battery may not detect on your laptop the BMS may have issue with the battery cell when you are using different battery uh, build number if you want to replace a battery cell it's not advisable to replace a battery cell of different build um, number if you want to replace a battery cell the best advice I will give you is to replace the battery cell with the same the old battery cell with the same build number or if the build number of the battery cell is a little bit similar to each other you can also replace the battery so I'm going to look at this battery and we all work together to know if this battery is okay or if the battery is okay and how to know the entry and the BMS the charging uh, connector how to find your charging connector how to manually charge your laptop battery on this side I have my positive and on this other side I have my negative and if you should take a look close to your battery we have about one two three four five six seven eight we have about eight pin out here we have about eight pin out here and if you take a close look at this other BMS board we have about one, two, three, four, five, six. we have about six pin out here so you can't use this BMS board for this one and replace it with another laptop it will not work so you have to replace the same BMS board with the same battery build number so that your battery can work properly and your system will be working fine so I'm going to show you a secret on how to use your multimeter to read a laptop battery I have another laptop battery here this is 
a Dell laptop battery. You can see the this laptop battery is different from this one. This is a HP laptop battery and this is a Dell laptop battery. First of all, before I proceed, I'm going to show you how to read this battery and how to know a faulty cell on a battery pack on a laptop battery. So I have a multimeter here which is off. If I want to use my small digital multimeter to read a laptop battery, I'm going to set this multimeter to 20 DC. So you need to set your multimeter to 20 volt. We have 20 DC, which is direct volt, and we have um, volt, we have the current volt, and this direct DC, um, direct volt, we have 200 volt, but the maximum volt you can set your multimeter if you want to read the laptop battery is 20 volt. So I'm going to set my multimeter to 20 volt. You can see. The arrow should be on the 20 volt. I have my red probe and my black probe. So on this dead battery, we have plus and minus. We have positive and the negative. And the battery the positive and negative are not set in parallel they are set in serial connection so the battery placing is very technical so you need to be you need to understand how the battery are placed on a battery BMS before you can start working on a battery BMS. So, on this side, before you can start working on a battery BMS, on a battery laptop battery, you need to know where your positive are and where your negative are. Here is my multimeter. Some battery they will indicate the negative sign on the board on the BMS board and the positive sign on the BMS board. But most of the advanced battery out there they don't indicate the negative and the positive sign so as a technician you can use your multimeter to find to know where the negative and the positive are so now i want to find where my negative and positive are on my bms so i'm going to use my black probe on